Saturday marks one month since Hurricane Idalia rocked South Georgia. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighborhood reporter in Valdosta. Living here and working here, I've seen debris pile up over the weeks, so I decided to follow up with two residents to see how they feel about the cleanup process. We been through something. This is Hazel Edgecombe. I spoke with her when Hurricane Idalia first hit. She had to evacuate her home, lost many belongings, and has been living outside of her vehicle ever since. They said 62 trees fell over on the other side of Park Avenue. That's what jammed the water up that backed up into 10 houses. 10 of us got flooded out. Despite the damage, Hazel tells me she's grateful for the contracted workers who cleaned up her home after the storm. Recovery teams have done a lot in the 30 days since the storm. I checked on the city and Lowndes Emergency Management Services partnership on hurricane relief. As of September 24th, the public works team and outside assistance removed over 260,000 cubic yardage of debris. As of Thursday, their emergency restoration plan has distributed 3,838 cases of water, 1,740 hygiene kits, 444 cleaning kits, and 249 tarps to equal 8,921 neighbors helped. Another neighbor who is getting back to normal, Nancy Griffin. She lives off of Whitewater Road towards Lake Park and has dealt with... Just a lot of oak limbs, pine trees came down, uh, but we were very fortunate because our neighbor across the street has a lot of oak trees down. With hurricane season stretching through the end of November, people in this community say they're hoping no more storms come this way because... I mean, they got a lot of work to do. Neighbors are encouraged to have their debris ready for pickup by Thursday, October 5th. I'm Aaliyah Thomas, your neighborhood reporter in Valdosta, ABC 27.